this Garmin 520 has a very limited battery life. It wasn't great in the first place. What would be the cheapest option? Find a Garmin 1030 Plus that has fallen off on the road. Let's change the battery on our 520 for now. We use a heat gun set at 90 degrees Celsius. How is the adhesive released? Pretend the tweezers are the screen. We want to lift the edge of the adhesive. We will use the back edge of a number 11 scalpel blade. So you want to release the adhesive by lifting it, not cutting it. Do not put any force on the edge of the screen. You are not cutting the adhesive, you are trying to lift it off. This takes a long time, but it's quicker than it's quicker than buying a new screen. When you get to the bottom edge, be careful of the ribbon cables inside. This shows that the adhesive is wider at the bottom end of the screen. So when you get to the bottom, carefully lift that off as well. Don't tear it off. This is the ribbon that joins the screen to the main board. Use a small Phillips head screwdriver. Take off four screws while supporting the screen. The battery connector lifts straight up. The battery is stuck down with tape. You lift that off. The new battery needs to be soldered to the speaker. Use double sided tape and orientate the battery the same way as the original. Keep the correct polarity for the speaker wires. We use solvent to remove the traces of adhesive from the case. Here I use isopropyl alcohol and a mask tie down. Connect the new battery and test it. Once confirmed OK, we need to seal the screen. I'm using Sikaflex 227 automotive sealant. Dispense using a small syringe. We put a thin bead around the edge. Remember that the original adhesive is mostly intact. The original adhesive would hold the screen down. The Sikaflex will seal it from moisture. Now we wait. Is the new battery change successful? Yes! Is it watertight? Hmm. Just kidding. Thanks for watching.